In this video, I wanna tell you what catfishing has actually taught me about bass fishing. And I know that that sounds a little bit weird, but I used to catfish a lot back in the day. And there was something that happened to me while catfishing that actually taught me quite a bit about bass. And in this video, I wanna talk specifically about that. Now, before we get in the video, this one's brought to you by my apparel company, Finn Fishing. Right now, guys, if you buy one of my USA made sun shirts, again, one of the only sun shirts made in the US, not overseas, here in the US, you can actually get a bass hat for 50% off. And that is a hat that comes with a wooden bass badge. So I am running this sale for the basically for till the end of March. So for about another 10 days. So all you got to do is add the shirt that you like to cart, add the hat that you like to cart, it will automatically discount at checkout. And it is the best way to help support this channel. Now, real quick, before we talk about catfishing, I just want to apologize. Guys, I have been through it when it comes to sickness. I had a fever for nine days. I had flu, I had the strep throat, and then I had a sinus infection. I am finally healing up and getting better. I am sorry for not posting videos, but I, I am going to be posting them from here on out. Now let's talk about catfishing, okay? So back in the day when I used to catfish, I primarily catfished at night. And you know, you can obviously catfish during the day, but I always used to catfish at night. And a couple of times, this actually happened to me several times growing up, is that while I was out there catfishing, I would get bit, I would set the hook, I'd bring that fish in, and it wasn't a catfish, it was a bass. And I'm sure that if you have been out there catfishing, or maybe you are a catfisherman, this has probably happened to you often in the past. And it was always so bizarre to me growing up when this would happen because, you know, we know catfish as, you know, using scent and using taste to find their prey, but we don't always think about it when it comes to a bass. You know, bass are sight feeders. They use their lateral line a lot, but the only way that a bass could find this hunk of meat down there, which was usually a, a bluegill or a shad in the dark was to use its sense of smell. And so what catfishing taught me about bass is just how powerful a bass's sense of smell can be. And I've actually talked about this on the channel, but it's just something that the more and more that I look into it, that I use baits with sin in it, and the more that I see just kind of how powerful this can be. Now, the first thing that I want you guys to know is that there are days out there on the water where you could be throwing two baits, one that has scent, one that doesn't have scent. They're the exact same bait and you're gonna catch bass equally as whoever's throwing the other bait. Like if, if you and your buddy are throwing two different baits, one was scent, one not, you're catching them the exact same amount. But to me, having scent on a bait is just one more positive cue for a bass to actually commit to a bait. And if there's anything that I've learned with forward facing sonar is that there are so many fish out there that will follow your baits. They will come right up. They will nose right up on that bait and then they will go away. They will follow your bait all the way to the boat and then they will go away. And a lot of times I have found that that bass can be catchable by using some sort of scent. Now, a lot of you guys have asked what scent I like. I like bait fuel a lot. And the reason that I like bait fuel is because it's amino acid based. I also like it because it's not, it's not an oil based scent. And I've talked about that a little bit here and there on the channel, but guys, oil based scents are not really attractants. What they do is they cover up smells. So if, if you, which can be important, if you're out there on the water and you have sunscreen on your hands, you have gasoline on your hands, you're fiddling around with your bait to get it lined up just perfectly, you know, using an oil based scent on there will help mask up that, that sunscreen or gas that you may have kind of put on that bait. So that can help you to catch more fish, but what it's not is an attractant. It's not going to lure a bass in from a distance to get your bait. And the biggest reason is because bass cannot, like oil does not dissolve in water and a bass is the way that their olfactory system works. It cannot smell oil based scents, but it will cover up that scent. So again, it's important, but that's why I like the, like amino acid, um, like the bait fuel. That's also why I like, um, like Maxent, like Berkeley Maxent and guys, you know, something that I've even seen with Berkeley Maxent is simply having other branded products and just putting those in a Berkeley Maxent 
package can actually help you to catch fish. And listen, I know that that sounds crazy, but this is something that I've done recently. And there, there's, a, there's a bait that I really like for smallmouth and Berkeley doesn't make this particular bait. But over the last couple of years, I have been putting that bait in a, in a max scent bag with a bunch of other max scent baits to try to just get some of that scent, try to get some of that stuff on that bait. And I'm not saying that it always works, but I did find, especially over the summer times when things get tough, this particular bait, me and my buddy would be throwing the exact same bait, guys. He wasn't doing this. And I. it seemed like I always caught the big fish of the day, especially when we were out there tournament fishing. So is it a correlation? Is it just something that happened? I, guys, I, I don't know exactly, but what I really feel like is it is having a little bit of that max scent on my bait that has helped. So that's that's something that I really have done a lot. I, I, it, you know, putting max scent, putting baits that aren't max scent baits in a max scent pouch, they don't last like a max scent bait does. But like I said, there's other baits that I really like that aren't in the Berkeley lineup. So that's just kind of what I've seen when it comes to scent is how powerful scent is. Because to me, scent is, it's just like humans. We talk all the all the time about how bass are like humans. You know, some some humans travel a lot and some humans are homebodies. You know, some bass travel a lot and some bass are homebodies. Some humans are spazzy. Some humans are really laid back. Some bass are spazzy and some bass are more laid back, I guess you could say. The same thing that happens with humans a lot of times happens with bass. And if, if you've ever been just outside and maybe you see a food truck in the distance maybe you're hungry you see a food truck you're like all right let's go but guess what if you see a food truck and then you smell that food truck that street taco that chicken oh my gosh you are that much more likely to go over there and eat something and that is the exact same thing that i think happens with a bass there are times where Maybe they see your bait, but maybe they're just not really into going over there and getting it. But all of a sudden they pick up on that scent cue, bam, that's what triggers them. So guys, this is my little speech about how catfishing really showed me how well a bass can smell. And it's just something that I want to share with you guys as well. So if you guys want to watch more of my videos, you can click on this one right here and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Big old flat. That's my biggest flathead yet. Gosh, I love catfish.